We recently just got ourselves a new house and one of the things that kind of surprised me, but apparently it's quite common, is when you buy a new house or even new to you, it could be a used house, that window coverings like blinds and drapes do not come with the house. We knew that going in, however, I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I started doing research on covering these windows. And depending on how many windows you wanna cover in your house, some houses have a lot of windows like this house does, it can cost a small fortune. So today we're gonna to share with you our experience on what we chose, how we installed it, on what could be one of the most expensive uh, additions to your house. Full disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. I wish it were because it is not inexpensive to cover 32 windows uh, in this house. So uh, we are using budget blinds. I did some research. They seem like a very solid company. Uh, Clay, the owner himself, came out to give us our consultation and do some measurements and give us our quotation. And I really learned a lot about blinds from him and he offered to answer a few questions for us. For me, most of the time, the reason I thought we needed window coverings is for privacy. However, first thing I learned is there are a lot of different types of blinds and they all have a different purpose, like these. Obviously the privacy is a key component, especially depending on where your neighbors are as well. And even people that have a great view and no neighbors, they still have a situation where there's a lot of light control that they need to take place, especially for situations of TVs and different technology that's around the house. Um, as well as protecting furniture and floors. Uh, window coverings do a lot for, for customers from privacy, light control, you name it. Window coverings can absolutely save you money. The great thing about them is that they can give you that buffer zone between the glass and the room so that you can increase your energy efficiency throughout the year. So in the summer months, you're gonna save on your cooling bill and in the winter, you're gonna save on your heating bill as well. One major question you have to ask yourself though, are you gonna do it yourself or are you gonna hire a pro and believe me, I really, really thought about doing it myself, but there are pros and cons both ways. The difference between a DIY and myself is that we are professionals. We're gonna measure, we're gonna install, we're gonna make sure that you get the best product for what you're looking for. So it's on us as salespeople, especially throughout my organization, to ask great questions so that we can kind of pinpoint what's gonna be the best solution for your home and what you're trying to achieve. Um, by moving forward, we, we also cover everything with a five year no questions asked warranty. So you're not gonna find that anywhere else in the industry. Um, and then the professionalism of having the best products, uh, knowing the best products because we've been in the industry for so long and we've already tested everything in the industry. So I feel like we bring the strongest product to our customer as well as exclusive lines of certain swatches and colors and certain types of motorization and certain types of controls, especially for child safety issues. We are kind of on the leading edge of everybody that's on the industry right now. With regards to the DIY not being able to exactly make the right choice for their home, uh, a situation where there's high up windows and you need a longer control, that's something that we can, we're gonna know right away, as well as the depth of your window sills. We're gonna know, cause we're gonna measure, we're gonna make recommendations. If you live in a heritage home and you only have a one inch sill depth, you can't have every product on the industry just because it will not fit properly and sit properly and mount for a longevity of, of your home. So having a professional come in and measure your depth and measure your, your height of your windows and see what controls will fit for your specific home, because every home is different. If you go online and you just uh, see a couple photos and you buy a product, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be the best for you long-term and for livability with your family. Uh, just because it looks good doesn't mean it's gonna give you the privacy or the sun or temperature control that you might need in your home. So an expert can step in and ask those great questions and kind of narrow it down, as well as bring in numerous hand samples to show you and then bring in a lot of different swatches in person. So if you're making a choice on a color online, 
that's gonna be hard for you to actually confirm that color in your house, as well as you're not gonna be able to confirm that operation style in your house, as opposed to me bringing in a hand sample and letting you actually try it and use it. Bringing somebody in actually clears up a lot of confusion in the industry, and I'd hate to see somebody spend money and then realize that they made a poor choice, and they're gonna end up calling me in a year anyways. So for the main floor of the house where we want light coming in, we chose what's very, very popular right now, what they call zebra blinds or combo blinds so you can see they're on a roller and if you roll them up or down depending on where you stop and you can select the translucency or how opaque uh, the blinds are so you can let uh, no light in or some light or you can let more light in or you can roll the blind up entirely the choice is yours For the upstairs, it's all about light control, so we went with a blackout cellular shade. We had this type in our old place, and they're a must for the bedrooms, especially if you're easily awakened by light. You'll notice that these are also cord free, making them safer if you have kids around. By the way, these were the most expensive out of all the blinds that we chose. For the basement, we initially had clay quotas on the same blackout shades. But then we realized that these are actually even more expensive than the combo or zebra blinds that we have on the main floor. For coverings that really don't get used much since the basement is pretty well underground, Clay suggested a traditional faux wood blind and we're really happy with them since they look great but they also brought the price down closer to our budget. There are so many advantages to getting a motorized system or automation, let's say, not just for super tall windows that are hard to reach. Uh, that's one really good reason, but other reasons like you can put them on timers, you can uh, use them with uh, Alexa or Siri with your home kit, all sorts of different automation things that you can do. Uh, you have apps on your phone. I can just go and just say open all, or I can open just a portion of them. It's so easy to do, they're, uh, they're wireless. Generally, I want the safest product for my customers and the longest lasting and motorization lasts the longest because nobody's hands are on it so there's no abrupt behavior of usage it just is a smooth draw on the shade or the blind every time whether it's going up or going down so the longevity of motorized blinds is actually significantly more than any other style of blind one thing to note though some uh, coverings some blinds can be retrofitted so you can put manual ones in and motorize them later on. However, some like these uh, that we have in the background can't be done because everything is housed inside the blind. So you have to decide at the time of purchase if you want to have motorization. And I'd say if it's not too expensive, if you can get a good deal from your installer, I'd say go for it. As you can see, there is a lot going on when selecting window coverings. I hope you got something out of this video. Maybe it makes it a little easier to make your buying decision. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Everyday Reviews. Hey, put the blinds up. Look at that. Just like that. How cool is it? Yahoo! All right, we're sitting here in the editing suite putting this video together. I wanted to give you a three month update since they were installed. Um, we had a couple things we wanted to ask Clay about. First off, there were a couple windows that the blinds were a little bit out of adjustment. So one side was closer to the window than the other. No big deal. Uh, he came and he, he adjusted those up. And also we wanted him to take a look at, we had a, a set of blinds, actually four of them, that seemed like they were a different color than the others. And, um, and he took them down and we matched them with the other ones and they were the exact same color. Uh, what it was is from the outside, they look like for, they were a different color because our house has different tints of windows on those particular windows. So it made it look like a different thing and he was surprised because he said like they all come from the same batch of material. So it would be very odd for those window, those blinds not to actually match up and he was absolutely correct. So um, after three months, am I happy with them? Absolutely. Going with the professional way, it, I'm really glad that we did. First of all, we didn't really have time. We were moving, the kids are doing school at the same time. And just to do all that stuff, 
uh, three months later, I'd probably still be putting them up right now, probably, I don't know, uh, you know, because you might be receive them, they might not fit properly, or they might not be the right thing that I really wanted though. And then comes the motorization. We did three large windows. In hindsight now, I wish I would have done more. However, with the type that we have, you can't retrofit them as I mentioned. Everything is built into the casing. So the battery system, because it's wireless, um, the Wi-Fi, the motor is all built in. So yeah, it would have probably cost us about, about $500 per blind more. But for the windows that were opening often or they may be hard to get at, it's a pain every day pulling that string and then doing it at nighttime again. And also it is less wear on the actual blind having that motorization. And it's great that they're all uniform as well. So yeah, do yourself a favor if you can afford it or if you can try to swing it, do motorization for all of those often open window openings. So anyways, that's my update. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. I knew nothing about blinds going into this. So I just really wanted to share uh, my experience with you. Take care.